Hello friends, this is Soft Reason. You are welcome. In this lesson, we will be looking at plan definition. Okay? This icon, this one. Okay? And so if you check this structure, this is a structure that has a gallery with a plan as in the gallery is subjected to a plan at a specific uh, uh, slope okay just what you can see here this one okay so if i go to the 3d we will notice that we have something of this kind okay have something of this kind here all right so i will be taking us through the fully understanding of how this actually work okay and the easiest way to carry out this all right so let's start yeah, it's a new project okay i've just created a new project so i want to be having a simple uh, sketch so as to be able to uh navigate and start the uh, lesson so click on the this auto gonna click on the drawing area i will be having this axis uh, this axis of having two and this axis of having two then half comma and then i will have uh three meter okay so click on okay so we're having something of this kind okay so i want to just add a column so I click on columns and then i want my uh column to be uh two to five okay two to five by uh two to five okay just like this all right so i'll just click here hold and then drag it over so it's, it's been inserted okay so after which close this and then i also add a beam okay so i will have my beam to be two to five okay by 450 just like this okay so i will just drag this over the portion i wanted to populate the beam and it's been populated okay so after which i just close this okay so i will be uh, adding slab I have a slab thickness of 150 okay just like this and then i will be able to insert it all right just like this okay so just go to the uh dictionary okay in the dialogue i want to have here to be uh 4000 millimeter okay and then click on okay I said yes so i want to just add some stories to this let's say two story so i will insert story and then i will have a uh two yeah click on two. okay i go back to the story one so i can be able to populate it to the second story so i generate this okay click on this one select this one click on two. okay so then closed so it's been populated so if i go to the 3d view i will be having something of this kind okay so this is not really all right so if i go back to the edict story and then i click on edict story okay what i'm having is forty thousand here so that is why you're having that height okay so click on okay so this is what i'm having now okay all right so now we want to we want to slope this this particular rule towards uh this direction okay so we want to have something that may take this place out the zero point and then a slope base towards somewhere this point okay and then uh what we are looking at is to have a slopey gallery okay a slopey gallery that can carry up to uh four steps and each of these steps will be uh, 300 mm okay 150 150 300 mm then it will have a kind of a landing or a trade of 750 so if you add 300 times 3 you will be having up a uh, 1200 so we want to slope this from this point down to some extent here yeah? okay uh 1200 okay so let's start so it's, i select this beam okay and then i will right click and click on property 
So once I click on property, if I come to this 3D, you see oh, I'll have something of this kind. So if I type here to 1.2, okay, if I type 1.2 there, I'll put minus because uh, I'm going downwards. You can see this has been taking a slope to some extent in this direction, while this point still remains zero, okay. So I will do the same thing to, so I have to close this now. Okay, so we are going in the I direction. So I will just select this one. Hold my control key, select this, and then the last one I select it. Right click and then I will click on property. So in this property dialog, uh, I'm going in the I direction. I guess. Uh, this direction minus 1200 right just have to close this this has been offset uh this has been you see this has been moved down okay so for this remaining one, just after I click and then you check this point and then do the same thing here, minus 1200, okay, to move it down. Okay, that has been moved, okay, minus 1200, okay, uh, to move this one down as well, all right? So we click on closed, all right? So just like this, okay? So I want to also move this, uh, this beam, this one, this one, and this one also down. So I will select it this way. Hold uh, my control key, select this point, and I swear this point. Right click and then click on property, just like this. So, I want this camera is going to be both left and right, DZ left and DZ right. So, I'll be having uh, minus 1200 minus, sorry, minus 1200. Okay, so just like this, and this point again, minus 1200. Okay. At this point again minus 1200 and the same thing here okay just like this so after which you can just check it and you notice that uh, it's been moved down click on uh, closed okay so after which uh, if you navigate you see you have something of this kind okay so we will be now using the plane definitions to move this slab this one and this one uh, to be at a slopey range with these beams okay uh, so you can see the depth of the slope from this zero point this part is seen at the zero point so the depth is 1.2 okay 1200 so what we are going to do we will navigate to the story one okay then we go to the plan uh, view okay just like this okay so we are now going to activate the plane definition so you just click on it it will be activated okay so first of all first of all click this point to have p1 which is the plane one click here to have p2 which is the plane two click here to have p3 which is the plane three okay so at this point if you uh, close this now you can close this now i want to uh, demonstrate as uh, one or two things if you check this point now you see z0 and this point z0 okay point one you can see point one z0 point two uh z0 also we have point one for this plane okay and then this point we are having a point three z0 okay so these are the points we want to you know actually edit and then make it uh 1.2 so as to be able to uh move this particular point one and point two to meet the you know already offset axis of the beam okay so you just have to click on this uh, plane you make sure you select the plane okay once the plane is selected right click and then click on property okay so once you click on property you'll be having something of this kind so in this plane now at this point which is point one this is point one uh we'll be having a minus 1200 okay at point one then at point two i want it to move uh that point down at a uh, minus 1200 also then at point three 
up until I want it to be zero. So if you finish all of this just like this, you click on update. Okay. Once you click on update, you can see that you're having minus 1200 at this point and this point. Okay. So since the uh, plane is moving downward from point one and point two, you make those points to be the uh, distance to have the distance you wanted uh, the plane to move. Then, then at point three, you still want it to be at zero. Okay which is what we have just uh, done okay so if for instance you made a mistake here yeah? maybe you want this point yeah to be point two and here to be point one meaning the plane at this time is going to be sloping towards these directions okay and no longer towards the direction it is very simple what you need to do is you just have to pick this point because since you wanted this point two to be at this point okay you just have to pick this point this one picked it here okay and select this point then click on update so as soon as you do that you see the point two is being relocated to this point why this one is point one so if you come to this point i check here you see this place is point one this point one you are seeing is for this plane okay and then this point remains point three zero so this axis from this point to this point now is is going to be zero while from here is going to assume a depth of a uh, one thousand 200 downward that's why you are seeing the minus sign okay so i want to bring this point to to the to where to its original location so what i will do i'll click this point and then i select this point and click on update so i have brought the point to back to its original uh original uh, position so what i need to do now is i can now you know close this one just like this and then p2 being the plane 2 i'll highlight it just like this right click click on property okay you can see the property that's point one two three are all zero so now you make it uh 120 okay minus 120 just like this and this point two minus 120 okay then this point still remains zero okay mind you this is point one you can see point one okay it's trying to it's just like conflicting with this one because point two is there and also point one is that point two of this one and point one of this okay then this place is point two okay so if you click on updates you see this is being changed okay all right so you close this two okay and then you will select this two right click and then click on property just like this so you change this property of point one to minus uh 1200 okay and then the same thing here minus 1200 so this point three remains zero okay and then you click on update you can see it's being uh, replaced with minus 1200 okay so after which uh what you now need to do is you close this okay and then you can navigate to the 3d if you navigate to the 3d you will be having a uh, something of this kind okay so you get to if you come down on the structural tree you will notice you have something plain here yeah? so you can see the property of this plane one two three which is one two three we have created okay so what you just need to do is just to click on this one after that setting click on this right click here and then click on move member to plane definition so you just click on it and then click on yes so once you click on yes you'll be having something like this okay so this members has been moved okay in respect to that distance of a uh, 1200 downward okay using minus sign okay so this same one you do the same thing you select this uh plane two okay and then once it's been selected you right click click on uh move plane to axis click on yes so it's been moved to the axis okay so you do the same thing just select this right click move plane to axis and then you move so this is what you have and this is what i think it is the easiest way to have a a, a, a plant a uh, sloppy uh, gallery okay because what is in that uh, uh image what is in that uh, my my plan my building model is a, a gallery let's look at it again so this is what is in this project that i did okay so this is a, actually a church okay a church auditorium so that is exactly what happens okay so 
So what I just show you here is the easiest way to be able to slope your slab, okay, at a gentle slope or a very steep slip, steep uh, slope using a plane definition. If you can follow the procedure, uh, you will not have issue in a plane uh, definitions. Okay, so here is the lesson. Okay, so stay tuned, share the lesson, like the lesson, subscribe, and stay tuned for more advanced lesson of this kind in engineering software bye for now